you're you're attacking the problem from two different angles now you're removing those two cores from boosting way too high and degrading further and then you're moving the bottom voltage ceiling up a little bit just to make it work in the previous video I explained what was happening, what was wrong, what was causing it, why it's doing it, and the theoretical solution on how to fix it, the VID tables, all that shit. Now, this PC here that I'm using, this CPU is degraded a lot. I got it from a Discord member of mine that didn't unfortunately find my channel until it was too late, and he sent me the CPU and I don't know what to do with it now because it's it's I can't sell it. But hey, look, there's some value out of it. So I kept I, I'm going to put my workstation right now. This CPU is degraded beyond belief. OK, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to go into the BIOS and just restore defaults, optimize defaults and let's see what happens. OK, this CPU is exhibiting all of the exact same behaviors that Wendell was talking about. Now, the SP score here doesn't change with degradation because the SP score is based off of the VID table that's stamped from Intel. So it never changes. So this, this 13900KS can barely run 5.5 gigahertz, but the SP score, you gotta be careful with that shit, right? So, so let's go load optimize defaults. It doesn't mean the CPU is unusable though. That's the key here, guys. You can still make it work. You have to take care of yourself, a little bit of knowledge, figure that shit out, okay? But it does take a little bit of FAFO on your part if you were running your shit stock and it degraded, right? And it's at 5.6 which is stock for a 13900KS, right? So we'll do a stress test, CPU stress test. We'll do with AVX, sure. 10 minutes, start stress testing. So this CPU is delitted. It's not direct die though, but it does have a lapped IHS. So why is it, it's, it's like stopping. Oh, it failed. Oh, there you go. It failed in ha a couple of seconds. Now, it, it just closed the app by itself. So it might actually, so, so this CPU will blue screen while it's idling in Windows because there will be one instruction somewhere that will ask it to boost one of those cores to six gigahertz, whatever the fuck it is. And then it'll just blue screen idling. And then it'll tell me, it'll tell me it's like some IO error or some shit. I hope it does do it. Oh, it might do it now. I'm gonna try to take a picture quickly with my phone. So I can show you guys. Is it gonna do it? It's just like closing apps on its own, dude. It's so fucked. It's so degraded, man. It's so fucked. There we go. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm not touching anything, dude. I'm not, Steam just crashed. I'm not touching anything. I'm literally not touching anything. There it is. Razor Central just crashed. She's going downhill, boys. She's going downhill. I hope it blue screens. I want to see that shit. It's so fucking, dude. This, okay, yeah, if, if, if you're, uh, yeah, you have a an Intel CPU and it's doing this shit. Yeah, okay. I'm so glad I have this degraded CPU, man. Now I'm like, fuck yeah, I get to make some good content out of this shit and actually help people. So it all worked out. This is stock out of the box, right? Com not even not even XMP enabled and the CPU is failing. That's how bad it's degraded. So now what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you the fix that I showed you last time 
except we're gonna add a little bit of voltage to compensate the degradation, okay? And this is how you do it. So, and this is gonna be different for different motherboard manufacturers. We're using an Asus board right now. So the E-cores aren't the problem. Well, they have their own fucking separate problems, but so performance core ratio, sync all cores. This 56 is what uh, 13900KS is supposed to be at, right? That's that. That's the max all core out of the box. So we're going to put it there, right? Now, you, we already know that doesn't work out of the box, though. It's, it's crashing. So you can't just lock all the cores and expect it to not crash, right? Because it's already degraded. So what we have to do is go down here. Actual VRM. Offset. 0.025. No, 0.0025. There you go. Uh, that's not... The lowest is 5. So that's a bit low, 0.01. We'll just do that. Go one at a time then. Save exit. It's not much. You don't need you don't need much. You don't need much. It's it's like what so you you're you're attacking the problem from two different angles now. You're removing those two cores from boosting way too high and degrading further. And then you're moving the bottom voltage ceiling up a little bit just to make it work, right? You do not, don't, don't just add an offset and leave those two cores boosting because now you're just going to degrade it even more by adding voltage on top of the, the degradation voltage it was doing. You have to attack it from the bottom and the top, okay? So let's go XTU. It's a simple fix when you understand what's going on. It's really simple. And then you'll never have a problem ever again. As long as the CPU stays cool enough. So now it's locked at 5.6. CPU with AVX2. We'll just do five minutes. Start. It already failed. So I need more. So let's go back and let's do it again. We'll add 200. So when I, when I first said, just lock all your cores and it'll fix the problem, that would be true if the CPU was brand new out of the box, right? Then it didn't have time to degrade itself. Well, I didn't realize that people were six months into degrading their CPUs, right? 0 0.02, let's try that. Save exit. Just keep adding until it stops crashing, right? Okay. So now we're at about 200, 0 0.02 more than the VID, right? Let's try this again. Five minutes, start. Already failed? Holy shit. Let's just, let's add a bunch, fuck. So let's go, um, let's try 0 0.05. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Save exit now yeah now we're at 1.43 volts so 500 above the vid right i wouldn't run the cpu like this so now now i need 1.43 to run the cpu stock nah if it even works let's try a cpu stress test with avx start didn't insta error right well the the voltage actually isn't that bad i should have upped the load line but anyway you don't actually don't even worry about load lines honestly there you go now it's working so what so to just to reiterate you stop those two cores from boosting by locking them all. Right? You, you lock all the cores. You stop those two cores from boosting. And if your CPU is degraded, you up the voltage to compensate for the degradation. And you check your, you check your package. We're at 85 Celsius. And the thing's pulling 200-ish watts. 
This will never degrade further. It's good. I could leave it like this indefinitely and it's it's forever going to be fine. It'll never it'll never hit 105 Celsius in a fucking game on those two cores. All that shit. Right? Done. That's how you fix it. Nobody's going to watch this video. That's how you fucking fix it. It's as simple as that. Lock the cores, up the offset. You could even use fixed voltage if you wanted to. Right? If you don't if if you don't know how to work the offsets properly. There you go. Done. Simple as that. Okay, two minutes in, not crashed. So we had, to, but this CPU is fucked though. Let's be real. This CPU is jank. So we had to add 500 millivolts to make it not crash on stock. Right? Yeah, if you're a normie, well, that's what this video was for. I basically just gave away thousands of dollars of consulting customers by showing you this. Uh, if Hey, man. Hey, you know what? If, if you watch this video and you still can't figure it out, then I guess you just got to pay me a consulting fee or RMA the CPU. What you can do is you can RMA the CPU with Intel. When you get the new one, just lock the cores and then you're good there too. If you can't figure out this offset shit. Does that make sense? That's an also, you could do that. For the, um, for the game developers out there, if your shit's degraded, RMA it, get a new one, lock the cores as soon as you get it, right? It's the single core shit. Why do you think I banned every motherfucker out of my Discord that talked about voltage frequency curves on single core? Remember all those guys that I banned that were talking about um, um, per core overclocking on Ryzen and they would like increase the voltage on that one core? Get out of here. My Discord is for gaming. Gaming. It just works. No FAFO. No crashes. Has to work forever. No degradation. No suicide voltages. I ban people if they talk about suicide voltages, man. Never mind. Just... I have, I have a very strict guideline of what... Look at this shit. Look at, look at how many thousands of people whose CPUs are fucked now. And yet, everybody in my Discord that follow the rules are gaming happily with zero fucking problems. Anyone that bought my products, my bundles, my consults, my PCs, zero fuck. I know what I'm doing. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. COD bros are the best because they do what I tell them to. That thank God for COD bros, because uh, COD bros aren't um, they're they they just want to play their fucking game, dude. The, uh, the the COD bro when their game crashes. They get as frustrated as I do when my game crashes. Like they lose their fucking minds. COD bros are like, I just want my shit to work. You know what I'm saying? That's why my community is full of them. They don't have time for this shit. A COD bro comes home from work from his nine to five and wants to play with the boys. He doesn't have time for this fucking degrading offset fucking lock the course they got no time for that shit dude no time they just want to play their fucking game you know what i'm saying i don't get why people still overclock one or two cores it's a waste of time uh because they're because people are bored they don't play games those people don't play games those people are not in my community if anyone talks about overclocking single core i used to just ban them out of my discord right away they're not they're not my people I don't buy a fucking product without tuning it, period. I don't care if it's a 12, 12, 100, a 14, 900 KS. I'm tuning it every single time. I never let the motherboard do what it wants to do. 
I control my hardware. I don't let algorithms control my hardware. I do it because I know what's safe and I know what's good and I know what's proper and I know what's healthy for this for the silicon. You know what I'm saying? I never let algorithms decide my shit. Here's what I would do in this case. This is kind of advanced. Well, okay, I got to be really quick. Um, what I would do in this case, I wouldn't run 1.43, right? What I would actually do is increase the load line and reduce the offset so that it idles at a lower voltage. But when you load it up, it's not as bad. We're going to increase the load line. Now, the, the reason why I don't want to show this part for the YouTube video is because uh, people can overshoot their load lines that they don't know what they're... This is, all, this is already so far beyond most people's skill level that I wouldn't fuck with it. Offset plus 0 0.01. There. Save. So these are the only changes I made, right? Oh wait, let BIOS optimize. No, I want remove. So these are the changes. The changes are, I went from 500 millivolts to 100 millivolts, changed the load line from four to seven. Yeah, you don't, yeah. I don't even want to even bother talking about load lines, man. It's too complicated for people. It's too complicated. So CPU, AVX2. Start. See if this runs for 60 seconds. Hey, see how the package is a bit hotter now? Because the, 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 the voltage is going like, it's overshooting like fucking crazy, right? But it's okay. It's not in any dangerous level, right? So now it's working. CPU thermal throttled. Oh, 90C. I must have put 90C as the thermal throttle. But anyway, you get the idea, though. So it's working now, but my idle voltage is 1.37. You could leave it like this, too. So now you got your 5.6 gigahertz. You didn't have to downclock it. You can increase your load line. Reduce your offset a little bit, but now you're now you're getting into like a full fucking tune of your system Just do that shit and now you got thousands of CPUs that have been saved and Everyone's happy and it took 20 minutes to fix. It's not that serious. It's not a big deal now um, Don't let your this goes this goes this is the final thing I'll say on this if you have an AMD CPU or an Intel CPU, you lock the cores. You do not let them single core boost ever. Unless you're doing some Cinebench single core shit, some hardware bought single core shit. If you're playing games, you lock them all and you don't let them overvolt each other. All right. Yeah, they would say shit game, unoptimized game. It's just the game. You know how many Warzone bros have said it's just the game? It's not. It's your fucking PC. It's always your PC. Always. Okay? Always.